So in this Five Nights at Freddy's security breach video, we're going to be seeing what happens when we return to the daycare after destroying the animatronics, Chica, Roxy, and Monty. In a previous video, I returned to this area by glitching inside, and I had just destroyed Monty. Well, in that video, he actually spawned and destroyed, and a lot of you were suggesting me to see what would happen if we returned here after destroying all of the animatronics, to see if they would spawn there also destroyed. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this video, just to see what happens. Hopefully you all find this enjoyable. If you do, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support here lately has been amazing. I highly appreciate it, guys. To start this off, I guess I should show you that, unfortunately, I'm not able to just return back into the daycare regularly after destroying the animatronics. Check this out when I try to go down the slide. Security alert! Security alert! Yeah, we get the usual security alert from Sun hiding in the slide, just waiting for us to go down. However, we can get the animatronics to spawn together here by doing something specific when we glitch back into the daycare. So now, in this video, to get back into the daycare, I'm going to be using a cheat so I'm able to face through walls, as you can see. In a previous video, I showed how to glitch in here without using a cheat. I showed how to use uh, Freddy to wall breach into this area. So if you're curious about that, it will pop up at the end of this video. Feel free to click it to go check out that one. In that one, you'll also see that Monty just got destroyed and people were recommending me to do what I'm doing in this video. Checking out what happens after we destroy all the animatronics that do appear here to clarify if all of their models spawn here destroyed. I'm gonna go ahead and actually pull up my inventory really quick before I do this as well. Just to show you that I did destroy the animatronics. As you can see, I got Chica's voice box, Roxy's eyes, and Monty's claws. So. Yeah, this ought to be interesting. Typically, after this scene, they spawn in once we do get banned from the daycare, as some of you may know. And there is a way to just trigger uh, us getting banned from the daycare again. And as you can tell, Sun and Moon aren't around at all in here at the moment. Here, I'll go ahead and just use these distractions. I mean, yeah, the text pops up stating that Moon's going to clean up, but Moon doesn't actually appear anywhere. It would be interesting if we could just see them roaming around in here after we did get banned from the daycare, but no. They just completely disappear. In case you didn't know, there's actually a secret room up here where Sun comes out of. We can access this secret room by taking pictures of cutouts around in Five Nights at Freddy's. As you can see, this is Sun's secret room. so. He's not up here either, just hiding out. Sun and Moon just completely disappear. But anyways, check this out though. If we go to hit this button, it will re-trigger this cutscene that's supposed to happen when we first get banned from the daycare. Rule breaker, rule breaker. You are banned from the daycare. Security alert, security alert. All right, so let's see if they spawn in destroyed. Oh gosh. Yes, they did. I heard Chica. She's definitely destroyed. I just need a little work done. What the heck? Oh, poor Roxy. She really doesn't like herself now. But yeah, she's also here destroyed. Yeah, this is actually the only way we can see the animatronics here destroyed. Where's Monty, though? Monty didn't spawn in this time, though. That's odd. Oh, there's Monty. He spawned in now. Yeah, this is kind of crazy looking seeing this here. Once again, this is the only way to get all the animatronics grouped up here together after they've been destroyed. Typically after that cutscene, they spawn in here and we have to try to get away. However, obviously they weren't destroyed yet at that part. As you can see though, after you do destroy them and trigger that cutscene, they'll spawn in again. However, they'll spawn in destroyed. This is pretty neat. But yeah, that confirms that after you do destroy them and return to the daycare and trigger the cutscene, they'll all spawn in here with their destroyed model. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you found this entertaining. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.